guys, I'm going to go across the street to pick up my food at the Phuket Thai Express. So exciting. This is where I'm getting my food, you guys. I ordered something delicious. I will show you. was uh, this place called Phuket Thai Express. Phuket Thai used to have their own restaurant over at the Makali Shopping Center. And I think they opened several locations like Nililani and Ward. But you know, sometimes things change. And now they have a little small, sorry, I'm swelling, a little small outlet over by um, University, right across the street from the Pucks Alley area. And it's really great. I saw it on the news. And then they were showing like they had combos and stuff like that. And Phuket always made some pretty good food. so. I did want to try it out. The, um, this is the, um, oh, okay. So this, you guys, they have combos where you can get the fried chicken. And then it comes with a curry or a stir fry or something. But a lot of it comes with the fried chicken. I love Thai chicken, fried chicken. Mine got a little bit soggy because I had it covered and I brought it home, okay? And this is the green curry, which I got the vegetable green curry. I don't usually get vegetable green curry, but I had it last time and it tasted lighter. I actually liked vegetable curry. So I guess I don't need meat in everything after all. Plus look at all the meat you get. Uh-huh. Okay, and this is my mom's favorite. I got her a pineapple fried rice with this one has pork. So it looks really good. Um, I'm gonna taste it and check it out. And for extra, just because I went to Don Quixote, I had to grab my favorite thing. You guys, this is so high in sodium. So not good for you, but it's so delicious. I always buy their Korean chicken. Look at that. Mm. Okay, let's try this delicious stuff. I cannot wait. Mm -mm -mm. So of course I'm gonna give my mom her fried rice back, but I told her I do need to stop it. Yes. So what I try to do now, because I a little bit try to watch what I eat. I just eat some of it and then I eat this like in couple meals so it doesn't feel so bad. Let's try this green curry. Mm. Oh, that was an eggplant. So they have eggplant. So the vegetables they have, carrots, uh, they have basil, which we all love, cabbage, uh, eggplant, Lots of nice variety. Some places, they just give you whatever vegetable they have. I mean, I've had one time I had like a whole bunch of the same one vegetable. It was pretty bad. I mean, not at Phuket, but some of the other Thai places, which I didn't enjoy as much. And you know, you gotta have sticky rice. Look at that, sticky rice. Can I put this? Maybe I should try a spoon. So, got my spoon. Mix it with the green curry. Ooh, let's see how that tastes. Okay, put my rice inside. Mm hmm Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. What I like about Thai curry sometimes, it's I like it because it's not so thick. I love my Japanese curry, but I'm starting to get like, you know, a little bit stomach. Um it gets too rich. It makes me kind of upset. So I've been sticking to like Thai curry. Oh wow. That's good. $12.99 for this plate. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. And because it's vegetable, it doesn't taste so heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Let's try. Ooh. I love the, I can taste the fish, the fish sauce. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, that's really nice. I can see the onions. Really pretty. I've been to places where the fried rice has like nothing but like an egg. Bad. My, we're really picky. I like to see how they cut the meat. Mmm. Very nice. Let's try the flavor. Mm hmm It's kind of ketchup-y. Maybe I'm... Oh, tomatoes. Mmm. Mmm. It is different. Maybe that's Phuket style. I bought some... Um, um, pineapple fried rice 
over at Molly's on Kiamoku. Oh, my mom was so happy it was to die for. Let me show you how some of this delicious stuff looks. You can see the pineapple. Mmm. Oh, my. my mom's pineapple fried rice is good. Let's try my fried chicken. Stupid flies. Ugh, oh, don't you hate that? Ooh. Ox, one thing I can't make is Thai fried chicken. Mm, you don't need sauce. I think it's already marinated. Mm -hmm. so good. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I have to buy like Thai chicken where they do the whole chicken. Oh my god. Mm. You can just rip a piece off. Thai food, don't you think it's completely amazing? I went to Thailand and I could eat like green papaya salad for like 60 cents. Oh, look pretty. Why is fried food always the most prettiest? And then the sticky rice. You gotta get sticky rice, you guys, when you curry. It just doesn't seem Thai to me without sticky rice. Like Korean has the multi grain rice, Japanese has your regular sticky rice, Thai has the sticky, sticky rice. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Lunch and dinner. Mm hmm. I'm good. Mm. How do you fry chicken? You gotta eat with your hand. Right? Mm. 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 Ow. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And you know the service? It's so nice because there's one guy working there. Um, no, I ordered. I just called from Niji across the street where I was shopping. Or my food. I'm picking, I swear, the service. The guy is so cool over there. Super, super good. That makes a difference because I hate going to a place that the food's good but the service sucks. Some people, like there's this one plate lunch place downstairs from where I work and 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 the food is good at the um the um lunch wagon but the guy who cooks it it's like the biggest looking grouch on the planet so I don't buy from that I don't I don't like that don't like that kind mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hate arrogant people so this I picked up you guys this is dangerous I will tell you it's very good, dangerous, bad for you probably because it's fried for one. So I buy a half pound and I kind of pick on it all weekend, which is probably not good. So that's what's called. And they, you order, you know, at the back you pull a ticket and they call your number. And then you order your food and you can buy it by the pound or small, medium. Depends how they sell it. But they always change. So you guys got to check it out. They have some kind of turkey. I'm waiting for them to have the chicharron with the um, tomatoes chopped up with the onions. I saw it one time. Oh my gosh, I should just buy it because I want to try it, you know. They always have like shrimp, garlic shrimp. They have um, they have a lot of soups like Portuguese bean soup. They have juke, jai. They have lots of stuff. Ahi. But it works because Don Quixote, where it's located here in Honolulu, is in an area where there's a lot of uh, foreign students who do live here which is great because they can go there and buy their food and you have a lot of senior citizens in that neighborhood because one it's convenient you have alamona shopping center right there you have walmart donkey i mean there's so many stores you don't even need a bus living right there by donkey i mean that is such a convenient location the location is just a plus Yes, that's the place to be. And that's why Don Quixote makes all this kind of food because senior citizens come there and they buy a lot. I mean, they're there. Believe me, they own that place practically. Senior citizens are the boss. Oh. <laughs> that was a delicious, bad oyster. Fried chicken. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So good. And I always look for these bad skin. The crispy, 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 crispy bad fried chicken. I feel so good in your mouth. I wish there was a magic shot that could make all the stuff I like taste bad. Then maybe I could just lose a lot of weight. But 
not happening. <laughs> but I can't get past certain things. I know when I was younger, so easy to say, you know, I'm not going to eat this anymore. When I get older, I don't know. I feel like I make more excuses. But I am watching more of what I do. Yes. Ah, but this is so good. I wonder how they make it. I found out that the guy who, the, the main chef guy over there at Don Quixote, he actually owned that sit, Cook City, City, Cook, Cook, Cook Street Diner or something. Remember I went to the food truck, you guys, a while back ago. Well, that place closed down. They retired or something. Oh, it's so sad. The food was so good. They had such good turkey plate. And I found out too late, right? When I found out who they were and started buying their food, they, oh my God, they only stayed a little after that. I made the video and then they, that was it. So sad, but the turkey was good, and they do serve turkey at Don Quixote sometimes in the back. But there's no stuffing there. Don Quixote, if you're listening to me, please put some stuffing on. Oh my God, we'll all buy more turkey on a Thursday. Make it like set menu, like Monday you can get this, Tuesday you can get this, Wednesday. Like maybe put the daily specials, so we already can schedule what we're gonna eat at the beginning of the week. Like oh oh, it's Thursday I gotta get turkey. What's Wednesday I gotta get the chicharron with the tomatoes or something. Hmm. Mmm. 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 Mm hmm So what's your guys' favorite stuff, huh? I mean, is it um chicken? Um, is there a certain ethnic food you like? Or um, fried food? I don't mind it's pretty bad. I like fried food, which is not very good. Um oh, probably gotta watch my cholesterol, which was okay, but set to work because over here my skin I think Got some fatty skin starting to happen. They were saying that sometimes that could be like high fat inside your, maybe in your body or something that can cause your skin to get like that. Oh, brother, right? So many things to worry about. One of these days, one of these days, when I can afford it, I, I want to get my skin. All these, 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 these brown spots taken off. It's pretty bad, you guys. You know, we Asians, uh, Asians get hyperpigmentation. I Asians. Um, I don't think. Well, I don't think Caucasians do. Um, blacks. I don't think colored people. Maybe they do. Maybe they're like us. I don't know. But they have such good SPF, right? Um, but us, we get really ugly. These ugly spots. I cover a lot of it with uh, a light foundation, just because it looks so bad. And I have rosacea, so my face is red on top of the spots. So that's one thing I like to take off. Another thing I like to do is I like to fix my skin here because the fat but I don't want to look Caucasian because I'm not Caucasian I want to look my look like myself but I'm a little bit scared still so maybe a little bit longer maybe I'll wait till I'm like 55 see so it's disappearing my double yeah then look at this watch what's cool is because my lips go down like naturally like Ace Freely from Kiss right you know Ace Freely Kiss so because I have that, I'm lucky if I ever lifted my face, my lips just look normal. Hmm. Maybe one day if I ever get the chance to go to Korea, I'll do it or something. I'm just scared because once you cut, can you fix it? Oh my god, I don't know. Scary. I do want to do my eyes though. It bothers me. It does make me feel tired. Like when I go like this, I feel more weak. Hi. Hi. Mm. Mm. I think I'm eating all the skin. I don't like when the piece is like this big. Mm. Yeah, it's too much to eat at one time. I like it when it's small. Mm. I'm going to give it a soft, hot, uh, bad, bad sauce. That probably so good with rice or something. See, that's my weakness. Salt. Salt is my weakness. Salt and fat. Oily food and salt. Sorry, guys. So hot. I mean, it's cooled down. Not like 90 anymore, but it's still muggy. I'm like 80. I wish I could be like in the mainland right now. Some places are like snowing. What's up with that? Snowing. I, mean, I like snow. I only saw it fall from the sky twice. But I would love it like if I could walk in Tokyo. And I was like, oh my god, it's snowy. That would be so nice. I saw it in um, 
BC at Grouse Mountain and then Vegas at Levi Canyon with snow. We went um boarding over in the canyon. People go on um, snowboarding. We did tubing. <laughs> like snow, but when I thought about it, if I had to choose between always living in the cold or always living in a warm climate, I pick warm. Because, you know, I always think I would like cool. But we're AC, and now I'm reminded that it's nice to be cold, but sometimes so cold, my body, temperature gets so bad. As I'm getting older, I've been actually getting tremors. Like, I get these, I don't know, like, like chills where my teeth chatter, like, really bad. And I get some um, uncontrollable shaking. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. So I know the doctors were saying maybe it's like essential tremors. You just gotta watch. So I couldn't handle the shaking when I was, I woke up like super cold and I don't know if it was AC or what, but it was just uncontrollable, my shaking. My teeth was chattering so bad. I wear a mouth guard now, so I don't um, crack my teeth. And I actually made it to the shower one night when that happened. It's only happened like six times. It's violent, my shaking. Like, I'm scared. And in the shower, I turned the water really hot and I thought maybe if I warmed myself up, it would help. It's really weird. Um, they still can't pinpoint it because it's not like they're there when it's happening. Uh, I don't know what to make of it. So if any of you guys go through any of this, please tell me what your diagnosis was so maybe it could help me. So anyway, you guys, I gotta go. Battery dying on my phone, all right? You guys take care and don't work so hard. The weekend's coming up, right? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And for those of you who haven't, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Don't forget, Phuket Thai Express. Bye.